My Jordan adventure has been amazing. I had a desire to come to the Middle East to see what it was all about for myself. I go into Jarosh and learn about the old city and the different influences from the Romans and the Greeks, the architecture that, you know, the theaters and then dancing with the kids that were there on their field trips. <laughs> Started in Amman, got to see how diverse it was, um, you know, seeing the old Amman, the citadel, um, mosques and things like that. And even just the city life, I guess. Um, Amman has a certain energy about it that I just really, really enjoyed. So I've been really uh, impressed with what the country has to offer, with the great infrastructure that has been developed uh, for the country, as, uh, for tourists. Um, it's been very impressive and I've been really um, happy with what I've seen and hopefully I'll be able to share that with my audience. I had waited all my life to go to Petra. Oh my gosh, riding the donkey up to the top of the monastery, I'll never forget that. That was so fantastic. Definitely wanted to see Petra and as much as I knew I would love it, I was blown away. And at the end of the day, at sunset, we ended up over a viewpoint of the famous treasury. And that was just amazing. And that's something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. The Bedouin culture, I absolutely love that experience. I actually bought a hata, a Bedouin dress. I got dressed up. We had dinner in Wadi Rum. And we got a chance to dance with the Bedouin men, learn some songs. <laughs> Other things that I enjoyed in Jordan was getting to camp a lot. We spent a lot of time getting back um, in nature and spending time camping out in the Wadi Room in the desert. I didn't have a clue as to what sort of beauty that was waiting for me. Um, the vistas were just spectacular. A lot of people think that the desert is not is just a wasteland, but they don't truly appreciate what it really has to offer. The best part of my trip in Jordan was actually the people that I met along the way. I've always said that it's not the destination, it's the people you meet when you travel. And that's what really made Jordan so special to me. Um, they were open, they were inviting, and that's really, really a welcoming feeling when you're so far away from home. My personal favorite thing about the trip was seeing all the adventure activities that were available, um, camel riding through Wadi Rum, staying at a Bedouin camp, dancing around a fire, canyoning in Wadi Mujib, um, you know, rappelling down a uh, waterfall and then traversing all these boulders and rocks. Swimming in the Red Sea and the Dead Sea is unbelievable. All my life I wanted to swim in the Red Sea and see the magnificent coral and all of the cool fish and everything. And we got to do that on this great boat with this wonderful people. Uh, before I came to Jordan, I had really no idea what to expect. I told my friends I was excited to go float in the Dead Sea and that was pretty much it. As you can see, I have just done that myself in mud. Jordan was one of the most fantastic trips I've ever been on. I can't wait to tell more and more people about how great it is as a country, as a people, as a tourist destination. Bravo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.